How's everybody doing today? Well, we're going to talk about a few things. And the topic today is strife, or strife, or disagreement. The, uh, the whole team working together attitude. You know, we're all different. We all are different, and we all have different opinions, and we all have uh, different ideas. And uh, evolving means finding out a way to make a team work with all these different personalities. The personalities are important. That's who they are. That's, that's what they stand for. That's what they believe in. But the team, the team has to come first. And so you have to question, is, is, is my difference really worth bringing up, first of all? Because a lot of times it's not. It's a uh, quirk of our own that uh, that just bugs me. That just bugs me. That just bugs me. Well, if, if you want the points, you'll keep your mouth shut and keep it to yourself and you can tell me and the father all about it at home at night and we're going to make you feel better and it's all going to be all right but it's part of that avatar you're running around in it, it's it develops quirks and uh it's also part of your training to overcome your quirks and so if you give in to them and you are constantly reminding people about your quirks and how they have to bend to your needs. Yeah, you're losing the damn battle, dude. Or do that. You are literally losing points every day. So keep that in mind. Those quirks, they really are designed to trip us up. And uh, some have really big quirks because they've let them go and let them go and let them go and now they're a monster inside them you need to let that uh, go and you need to evolve to the point of understanding that uh, yeah it's just a quirk of mine I'm not going to give it no more room I'm not going to allow it to grow anymore I'm going to stop it right now it has been miserable with the round people, but about it. So, yeah, that's an important move for everyone that has quirks and find them disrupting their lives. People literally avoid you because you're damn quirks. So, yeah, get a hold of yourself, all right? You're being tricked. It's uh, one of those things that... Uh, will evolve out of it and uh, <clears throat> we'll recognize that early in our children and we'll make sure they understand what a quirk really is. It's a trick. And uh, you get a lot of points by ignoring it and by biting your tongue and just moving on. You get a lot of points taken away by driving people crazy with it too. So. Uh, just so you know, that's that's probably the number one problem with teams and teamwork. The other one is the uh, the decision of what direction to go. That goes with the leader. Whoever's in charge, you have to respect them. You have to let them make a mistake if it's the case. And then evaluate it and uh, change it down the road. But up until then, they're captain of the ship. And you have to respect that captain. And the first officer has to follow that captain's orders and do what he says. You'll never have a good ship if you don't have respect for your captain. That's all there is to it. And... Uh, Oh, down the road, we'll have the smartest people. 
in charge of the ships. And it'll be a really good thing. We may not right in the beginning. But we'll have someone there that's smart enough to know that they didn't make a right choice. And uh, we're going to change that. Yeah, that, that didn't work out so well. Yeah, yeah. No free post-it notes on Friday. No, no, that shit, we, we ran completely the hell out of post-it notes. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're passing on that plan. Yeah, bad idea. Okay, yeah, bury that memo. Okay, anyway, you get my point. There's uh, good decisions and there's bad decisions. But it's your captain's decision as to where you're going. And that goes all the way to the top. Three world leaders. You got to roll with what they go with. Their first officer can counsel them, and uh, their A-team can help them. But ultimately, the captain of the ship is the captain of the ship. And the only way you'll ever have a good running ship is to respect your captain. And so, if you want to earn points, respect your captain. Show him disrespect or circumvent him or her. And you're going to find out what you lost. It's far more points than a cork. Because the truth is, he wants things to run smooth. And he wants things to run right. And so respecting your captain, that's the right decision. And if you think about it with your heart, where we are, you'll know everything I'm telling you is the right choice. And down the road, if that captain decides that uh, his first officer is far more uh, capable and, and impressive, and he'll know that he needs to step down and let that first officer take over. Because uh, he wants to make the right choices for his soul, too, and his team. And so, as we go through this, this evolving process, there will be situations where the captain decides yeah you know what I'm far impressed more impressed with my damn father's officer than my own decisions you know maybe retirement's not a bad idea yeah I could volunteer and do some cool stuff I've really been meaning to get to that backyard of mine yeah you know what I mean it's making the right choice for your soul is what counts and if you're in charge, and you're the captain of the ship, everything matters about your ship. That's what your soul's riding on. So keep that in mind. And the other one is just plain getting along. You know, I, I, I see it even at my church, where these people will sit there and praise God, praise God, praise Jesus, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, just literally blowing smoke up God's ass all the time they're there. And then turn right around, and as soon as they get the pastor alone, you know what they're doing over there. Do you know what this person did? You? It's like, do you realize the strife you're causing and, and the problems you're causing? You're better off just keeping your mouth shut and hoping that God works with them and, and straightens them out. But going to your captain for that is not the right call. And even worse, going directly to the captain instead of the person in charge of you is the absolute worst call you can make. Okay? Because a lot of times people are doing that because they want to be impressive. Believe it or not, yeah, yeah, they want them to think, yo, that's a good person. Did you hear what he just told? Oh, he is awesome. She is just the best gossip ever. You ever think that ever happened? Yeah, it has. But they didn't get the results they usually expect. Yeah, yeah. That, that, it, that, we have a program called Kiss Ass. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's the, it's the same one, blow smoke up my ass kind of thing, yeah, yeah, you know. <clears throat> People are going to have to learn that it's actions with their hands, not their mouths. 
that really means serving and helping out when your captain really needs the help. So that's the other thing, you know, she, she's dealing with a bunch of people from the city and this, and they got to clean this up, and, 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 and all these people that praise Jesus, praise Jesus, damn one of them show up except one. She said, you know, it's one of those times when the captain really needs some help, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm busy, I, I'm busy, I'm busy. Yeah, but I'll be there Sunday to blow smoke up God's ass. Yeah, you wait, I'll be there. Yeah. It, it's it's the evolving. We really have to evolve. And when we evolve, we'll learn that we're doing it with our hands to get into heaven, not our damn mouths. Sorry about the language. I, You know, I, I really am trying not to be the Antichrist, but I'm stuck with it. You know, I can't really get away from it, unfortunately. He's really got me on the bad side of the, yeah, the dark side. Yeah, I, I really am going to need that suit. And climate controlled got to be climate controlled all right and and yeah and with a flap remember don't forget the flap <laughs>